Welcome to the University of Limpopo Library. When entering the University of Limpopo Library, one needs to have their mask on. They need to sanitize before entering the library. Upon entering the library, the student has to go to the security check and then they check their temperature as well as their bags. From there, the student can go and register and sign in when entering the library. Library rules. We have the following rules for the library. Smoking is prohibited. Eating, theft, beverages, mutilation of books, for example, the tearing of pages or writing in the books. Noise, running, answering phone calls, monopolizing of personal computers. The following are the operational hours. During term, we have from Monday to Thursday, the library operating from half past seven up until 12 o'clock. On Fridays, from half past seven up until four o'clock. On Saturdays, from eight o'clock up until four o'clock. On Sundays and public holidays, the library is closed. During recess, the library operates from 7.30 up until 4 o'clock on Monday to Thursday. On Fridays, from 7.30 up until 4 o'clock. Saturdays, Sunday and public holidays, the library is closed during recess. During exams, the library operates 24-7 from Monday to Sunday and it only closes on public holidays. The library has the following locations for our collections. The Teflop Main Reserve, which is located on the ground floor. The collection is all subjects excluding law materials. The Teflop Africana Reserve, found on the ground floor. African Literature and Thesis and Dissertations collection. Teflop main open stacks, which is found on the first floor. The collection housed there is the humanities collection. Teflop main reference found on the first floor. Collection reference materials. Teflop law reserve found on the first floor housing the law collection. Teflop audiovisual reference found on the second floor audiovisual materials collection. Teflop open stacks found on the third floor sciences, health and agriculture collection. Teflop management open stacks found on the fourth floor Economics and Management Sciences Collection. Information Desk. If you need help or any other query, please consult the librarian at the Information Desk on the ground floor near the Circulation Desk. The Information Desk librarian will help you or refer you to the appropriate subject librarian. For more in-depth searches, such as internet or literature searches, please consult the relevant subject librarian. Let's look at how to access the library catalog. Now, when accessing the library catalog, what you need to do is you have, need to have the internet because it relies upon the internet. So have any device that has the internet, be it your smartphone or a laptop or your personal computer anywhere else. So you would need to open any browser that you're comfortable using and then search for www dot ul dot ac dot za that is the university of limpopo web page once the university of limpopo web page is open you go on to library the library tab you click on library tab from the library tab you will find under libraries a number of options please click on the library catalog it will redirect you to the library catalog page. When you get to the library catalog page, you have various search access points. Now let's look at the search access points.
the access points are namely the keyword right here which is in the topic or the subject that you are searching for you can type in that subject you also have the title the title would be the name of the information source that you are looking for you have the author which is the writer of the book you would need to use the same name and the alphabet of the name we also have the subject which is subject headings used for the information source now let's search using the keyword with the keyword we can search for indian food now when searching make it a point that you select where you want the search to be narrowed at we have view the entire collection you can view the entire collection be it with Mankwein, Polokwane, as well as Teflop. But I encourage you to use Teflop if you are within the library or if you are accessing the Teflop library. Then you click on Submit. Once you click on Submit, your results will be visible. Now we've got results of a keyword being 12. If you can check here, the keywords results, they are 12. It found 12 results. So when looking at this, let's check the very first results for number one. We have the bibliographic details, which are here. We have the location of the material, which is found here. This is the lo location. If you look at here closely, it says Teflop Management Open Stacks. And then we have the call number, which is found here. On this one, it says the call number is 658.421 ENT. We also have the status of that material. With this one, it says the status is available. Now, when we're looking at this, we have various types of locations found in the library. For instance, the Teflop main reserve, which is found on the ground floor. This is all the subjects, excluding the law materials. We have the Teflop Africana reserve, which is found on the ground floor, holding the collection of Africa, African literature, thesis and dissertations. We also have a location that is the Teflop main open stacks located on the first floor, which houses the collection of the humanities. We have the Teflop law reserve, which is located on the first floor, West Wing, which holds the collection for law. We have the Teflop audiovisual reference, which is located on the second floor. It houses the audiovisual materials. We have the Teflop government documents found on the second floor, which houses the government document materials. We have the, the Teflop main open stacks, which is found on the third floor. The collection is for science, health, and agriculture. We have the Teflop management open stacks which is found on the fourth floor. It holds the collection for economics and management. Now let's look at the call number. With the call number, this is referred to as the address for the book on the shelf. It may consist of a prefix, a class number, and the suffix. For example, we may have call numbers that would start with a prefix of an R, which is 
for reference materials. We can have the one that starts with the prefix of a T, which is for the thesis. We would have the one that has the prefix of a G, which is for government documents. We would have one that has a prefix of an A, which would be for Africana. We would have one that has a prefix of an AV, which would be for audiovisual materials. With the suffixes used on the web pack, we have, for example, E and T here, which is the first three letters of the author's surname or the title of the book. For example, here, it is for the title of Interpreneurial Management. Now, we also have a situation wherein we may have various number of copies. They will be having a C at the end. C2, for example, here represents that it's a copy number two. You can have a situation wherein there are more than five copies. Then they will be labeled C2, C3, C4, C5. Now let's focus on the status of the book. We have a number of stata statuses that you can find within our library. Now, for example, the very first book that we're looking at, the status says it's available. When the status says it's available, the item is currently not checked out or loaned to anybody. You will find it within the library. There might be a situation wherein you go to the shelf and not find that book. The situation would come in, in, in a sense that somebody might be utilizing the book within the library at that specific moment. The second status, it can say due. You might find that a book has been loaned out and a specific date will be written there. It would say due maybe on the 25th of February or March 2021. That would be the date in which the book will be returned to the library. Another status would be invoiced. This means that an invoice is associated with a lost item and the library user has been billed for the replacement of that material. So if you lose our book, we will make it a point that we bill you. So please take care of our books when they are in your possession. Another status would say, ask for assistance. This would mean that an order has been placed and the item is not yet received within the library. The next status can say withdrawn. This would mean the item has been removed from the shelves. The other status would say hold shelf. This means that the item is currently being held for someone who has requested it and is waiting to be collected. Now, you have the privilege of doing that. If you find a situation wherein a book is due, you can go to the circulation desk and ask them to put the book on hold for you so that when it is available, it will be specifically for you. Okay, you can renew your books in various ways. We can just click on start over and then what you can do is you can go onto the library record and you log in to the library record. It will require you to use your first name and then your student number.
And if you have materials that you need to renew, they will appear right on the screen. They will, they will be right here. So whichever material that you need to renew, you can click on the material and renew. You are allowed to renew the materials twice before returning them to the library. So as undergraduate students, you have the materials for 14 days. After that, you can renew them twice. So if you need to amend anything on your library record, you can still go on to modify your personal information and add whatever information that is appropriate onto your record. Then once you're done with renewing your materials, you can log out from your system. Always ensure that you log out. Now, what you can do when you want to renew your materials again, you can contact the circulation desk on the following number, 015-268-2201. You can also contact the reserve desk on 015-268-2333. Thousands and thousands of electronic books. Now, when we're talking of electronic books, we're referring to books that you can access online. You can read online or download online. Now, with what we had searched for earlier on, still within the results of Indian food, there are some of the books that can be found as electronic books. For example, look at number four here. Flowers and Breads. It has this part that says website. You simply just click on this website and it will redirect you to a database that's Science Direct where you can download the full book now, if you look at here, we have browse. You can browse through the content of the book. You've got get this book, wherein you can download all the chapters of this book. So let's click on download all chapters. Now, it might take a few seconds. Here we go. It requires either to open or to save. We can save it, wherein you can save it on your laptop or your smartphone. Just click on OK. Now, it's just downloaded. You come here, click on this, and then you double click on that very book. So you can close. Now, these are all your chapters that belong to that book. We've got from chapter one up until chapter 46. So you can select whichever chapter that you're dealing with at that current moment. You double click it, it will open the chapter one in PDF format. You can go through it, you can study while in the comfort of your own room, going through our electronic book. The librarian will check the source for the user. On the catalog, upon finding the results, the librarian will give the user the call number for the material. The user will go and find the book on the shelves, they will have to first look at the shelf guide, wherein it's going to guide them where to find those call numbers. The call numbers are arranged according to the way decimal classification, and they're found on the spine of the book. 
Borrowing materials and fines. The library user can borrow materials from the library for a specified period and for use in and outside the library. Borrowers with valid UL card can borrow materials from the library. When borrowing a material, always check for and immediately report any damages, mutilation, or missing pages to the library staff. Failure to report such defects may result in incurring a penalty when the material is returned to the library. Borrowers have an obligation to take good care of the borrowed materials and return such materials on the due date. Borrowers are charged a fine of one rent per day for any overdue material. All library materials must be returned by the due date. If not returned, a bill which will include a hundred rent handling fee will be prepared for payment by the library. A borrower is liable for the replacement costs of library materials that get lost whilst in his or her position. The library also provides access to self-check system where library users are able to check out books on their own. To use the self-check system, please follow the following steps. Create a library record first at the circulation desk. This is a quick process which will enable you to use the self-check system. You must not check out items using another person's UL card. Scan your UL identification card by placing it under the red line. Look for the barcode of the book, either in front or inside the book, and scan the barcode of the book by placing the book closed or open on the red line. If the book has been checked out, a sound which indicates that the book has been desensitized will be heard. Select print receipt option on the screen for the transaction receipt indicating the due date of the item scanned and checked out to be printed. Keep the receipt safe. Kindly note that the self-check system will not function under the following conditions. If the membership has expired, please go to the circulation or the reserve desk with your UL card to activate your library membership. If you have an outstanding fine or unpaid fine, lost book, please clear the record first. If you have exceeded the maximum loan quota allocated, please clear the record first. If the book you are checking out has an old barcode, please get help at the circulation or reserve desk with your UL card and the book you wish to check out. The library staff will issue the book out for you. The reserve section houses all scarce and heavily used materials. Reserve materials are loaned for two hours at a time and may only be used within the library during opening hours. Reserve materials may be borrowed overnight or over weekend to be returned at eight o'clock the next time the library is opened. Now, when the student approaches the library personnel, they will let them know of the call number or the title of the book they're looking for. The library personnel will ask for their student card. They will check and verify if their library membership is active and they will check out the library material for the user. Okay, we have various sections within the library. We've got the Africana 
section. Africana collection consists of material on Africa. It includes old, rare, unique, and valuable works. The collection is what might be termed as a national treasure, being preserved for future generations to enjoy. It is housed on the western part of the ground floor of the library and includes the following. Monographs and periodicals on Africa with special emphasis on Southern Africa, for example, African literature, Southern African history, and African politics. Print thesis and dissertations of the University of Limpopo, master's mini dissertations by students of the University of Limpopo, university publications such as UL Witness, The Dawn, Limpopo Leaders, and international student magazines. Reports of Commission of Inquiry, calendars of the University of Limpopo Schools. For more information on the African collection, please contact Africana Library staff as follows. 015 268 2968. We also have the Law Library collection. The collection includes law textbooks, journals, statutes, ordinances law reports, and commission reports on legal issues. The library has three sections, namely the Law Library Reserve, Open Shelves, and the South African Law Reports section. The Law Library uses a closed stack system where all books, periodicals, and reports are to be used within the library. The Law Library Reserve Desk. Students and staff have to consult the Law Library Reserve Desk for materials. All the materials covering South African law are located in the Law Reserve. Lecture notes are accessible online through e-reserves. For more information on the Law Collection, please contact the Law Library staff as follows. 015-268-2475 or 015-268-2321. The library has a collection of audiovisual materials on various subjects. The collection comprises of videotapes, videos, DVDs, and CD-ROMs and are housed on the second floor of the library. For more information on this, contact the librarian as follows, 015-268-2958. The photocopy services. The library has a photocopy area where clients can copy, print, scan the library materials guided by the Copyright Act 98 of 1978. First, the student needs to register on the kiosk they have to associate their computer credentials with the kiosk, load money, and then go to the photocopy machine, associate their credentials of the kiosk, and then they can start making copies. The library has an electronic room on the second floor of the library, which is accessible throughout the operational hours of the library. Students can use it in order to make printouts or type the assignments, as well as other things that are of academic importance. Subject librarians. The library has allocated a subject librarian to each school in the university. As school or faculty liaison and intermediary, subject librarians do not only have close ties with school curriculum, but are also charged 
with the responsibility of informing students and staff of the wealth, depth, and variety of library resources and services that can assist them in their studies and teaching. Subject librarians are responsible for facilitating and enhancing access to information and train users in searching, finding, evaluating, and using information ethically and becoming lifelong learners. For more information, contact the following subject librarians. In the School of Mathematics and Computer Science, we have Mr. Mawele, MD. School of Physical and Mineral Sciences, Mr. Mawele, MD. Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, Mr. Makanya, CL. School of Law, Ms. Mokadi, C. Molecular and Life Sciences, Mr. Mutiba, MA. School of Medicine, Ms. Motlake, TMJ. School of Economics and Management Sciences, Mr. Ngoveni, NP. School of Social Sciences, Mr. Rapau, MS. School of Education, Mr. CIB, LL. Languages and Communication Studies, Mr. Senua, KG. Teflop Graduate School of Leadership, Mr. Shai, KS. Accountancy, Ms. Sharoma, MA. Healthcare Sciences, Ms. Sharoma, ME. The following steps will assist you on how to access databases of campus. The first step, you have to open any internet browser, type in www.ul.ac.za in the address bar, press enter. The UL homepage will appear. The second step, Click on library. The third step, select the off-campus databases. Step four, list of off-camp databases will appear. Click on the database address of your choice. Step five, Log in using your name, surname, and student number or staff number. Then press submit. Step six, the database is ready for a search. You can type in your search terms. Step seven, your search results will appear. You can be able to refine your search results or you can download the full article. Step eight, your full text article is downloaded. For more information, please contact your subject librarian. Feel free to visit or contact the library and information services for any of our services. Thank you.